Hello everyone, I'm Dan Playthroughs and welcome to episode 6 of Jack and Daxter. My playthrough and today um, we will maybe be finishing up this area um, along this sort of beach because the reason why we didn't finish it last time was um, hadn't unlocked something which was that um, Louis Co. Uh, thing, which you, su you should see in a second. Over there, um, which I will swim to, this Louis Co. vent was not unlocked until we beat up that um, monster thing, so now that there's Louis Co. coming out of the ground, we can use this nice launch pad. Up we go. I love these launch pads. Just flying so high. And up we go. Hopefully I get all the orbs in this area also. Let's chop up my blue eco. And Okay, gotta remember to open that box. And up down on top of the lurker. <laughs> Where did the lurker go? There it is. Nice. Oh yeah, and I got my favorite one again. <laughs> Awesome, 34 power cells. That's really cool. Is there anything else around here? It doesn't look like it. But press circle to use. Can blow up some stuff on the beach, like that crab. Got it. <laughs> All right, we need to blow up that little box there. That should do it. And I think that's all. Um, I think that's all we need to use this for. So after a few shots for fun, let's go. Alright. Uh, okay, I gotta make it back here. No, I'll have to make it back the long way. That's alright. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> and, um, hopefully, this, um, hopefully, I have all the orbs in this area now. Um, unlike Misty Island, hopefully I don't have to go all the way back for to find some random orb somewhere. So and that's where that pelican Oh okay, there's something else I need to do. So there are some more and I did oh I didn't see that crate last time. Okay, I have to unlock that crate, that's alright. So grab these. So I'll just have to shoot that other crate I saw, which I didn't see before, which is by that blue eco vent. There we go. And I think that is all of them. Couldn't make it. Alright, that's all okay. So, is this where the first launcher is? Yeah, nice. So, get some blue eco and jump up here. So the last thing I will have to do, I think, is where that pelican last time, the pelican's nest thing is over there. Um, let's do a big jump over there. Whee! Um, it had a thing to unlock, just right here. There we go. And that is not all the orbs. Okay, I'm just gonna pause. <laughs> Five orbs left. Alright, I think, just like last time, I will just uh, edit and show you when I find them. So, see you in a second. Alright, so, kind of tricky one to find, in a way. You have to swim to this giant waterfall, um, which I should sort of show you where it is. After I grab these, and here they are behind the waterfall. There we go. Sentinel Beach. 150, 150. So I believe I have 100%ed uh, the first sort of areas of the game, and 
there's where the waterfall was coming out of there um so if i just pause so that's the first area i've got all the power cells all the orbs that's the second area um yeah orbs power cells third area power cells orbs fourth area power cells and the orbs fifth area orbs power cells that's all the areas i've been to so so far 100 percent so what's the next thing left to do is to finally use um use the uh special thing that kira made for us which you will see in just a minute when I run there. Um, and sorry, this area, the village, um, yeah, would not be. That's 42 out of 50 um, for the orbs. And that's just because there are some orbs on the steps going up here. So there's a nice farmer. Good, he can sleep. His yakals are still in there. <laughs> And here should be the final orbs of this area. Nice. Sand of a village, 50 out of 50 orbs. Awesome. And what is this? It's a Zuma thing again. Fire Canyon. Press circle to talk, okay. Great! You have the 20 cells needed to power my heat shield. Is she really bad? Be careful. The shield will only protect your zoomer till it reaches 500 degrees, so try to keep her cool. Flying over open lava will definitely heat you up fast. Hit 500 degrees and it's over. Over? Like burning molten metal over? <laughs> the fire canyon gets pretty hot, so keep a lookout for jumps to keep you off the hot ground. I've also released several blue cooling balloons you can use to drop the shield's temperature quickly. Oh, and when you get across, don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Blue Sage's lab. Then we'll be able to teleport over and meet you. Good luck! Alright. Cooling balloons and jumps. So the temperature gauge... The cool Oops. The, uh, temp out here too. Temperature gauge on the bottom left... His, um just showing I guess if it fills up then you explode or something <laughs> so just got to be careful of that um, and I'm gonna try and get all these scout flies and things blue echo seems to make it go faster nice yeah it's getting kind of hot uh oh ain't looking good. Nuts. <laughs> yep, that got too hot. Well, at least I collected a whole lot of stuff. So, it's gonna restart, nice. Um, at least I <laughs> collected stuff, which I think I kept, yeah. So I got five of the scout flies, so this time I can kind of work on the raised precursor stuff to keep us cool. Going through faster. Jumping over the really hot lava bits. Nice. Done pretty well this time. Blue Eco. And getting pretty hot. But that's alright. Okay, I think there's something back there, but it's okay, because I can go back. If we can stay up here in the pool. Okay, that was six scout flies. Alright, nice. So grab this passer. Awesome. And I got all the orbs. I'll just jump off. Jump back on. We did make it, but now we're going back. <laughs> so there's one more... Uh, scout fly to grab. And I think I saw it back here on the left somewhere, so here it is. Grab it. Nice. And it turns straight into a power cell. 
so I think I'm done in this little uh, movement area that is between uh, sort of the main areas. Now if we can jump off this, do you have to be over one of those to get off? Nice. Now we can go into Rock Village. Rock and roll. And we're going here. Because it looks pretty friendly. And it looks like a sage's hut. So I'll turn on this walk gate. Whoa! <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get used to that teleporter tingling sensation. Hey! It looks like the blue sage threw a party. Oh my! Rock Village is on fire! One heck of a party. <laughs> no, no! I mean Rock Village is being bombarded with flaming boulders! A foe? Oh! And it looks like the Blue Sage is working on a levitation machine to move them. Assuming it's operational, we're gonna need power cells to fuel it. I guess you two are going to have to find some ore. We'd better take a look at his notes. Jack, go check on the villagers. Then come back and give us an update. And take the furball with you. The furball. So if I press circle to use, I can now go to two locations. Uh, but I'm not going to walk and won't talk to them. I think there might be something around here. There's some barrels, but they just give health. There's the sage. <laughs> and a scout fly, nice. Okay. So, this I believe is the way down into Rock Village, I think it's called. Just check there's nothing back here. Yeah, I don't think so. Over there is the scout fly. Nice, two already. Okay, so. Until we find out why the blue sage disappeared, you're going to need to collect 45 power cells to fuel his machine. Go get them. 45. So I'm pretty far <laughs> there. Anyway, here's another of these guys. Of the dark light, for it has twisted the fate of one of you. Bring me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. Okay, so 120. Expensive. Here is another power cell for your quest. I mean, the other guys only want like 90. <laughs> but we get another power cell. I didn't check. Do we have enough for his? Other eyeball? <laughs> ah, no we don't. So we'll leave him for now. Look at this. This poor village. Here's someone to talk to. You two look like a couple of capable fellows. I've got a research project going, and maybe you could help me out. Hey, we're the ones on a big quest here. We ask you for help. Well, perhaps we can help each other. I've been studying the burrowing habits of lightning moles in the precursor basin next to our village for years. But now those awful lurkers have scared the moles to the surface. And since they're blind as bats, they can't find their way back underground. If you could herd them back into their burrowing tunnels, you might just save their lives. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. Yeah, lightning moles. We care. <laughs> Maybe for two power cells. Nice try. But I would be willing to part with another power cell if you two find me 90 precursor orbs for my research equipment. Fair enough. Sure. Fortunately, I only have 70. So, just grab this scout fly. Um, I'm not going to help her, mo her moles, um, which are over that way. I'm not going to help them yet, because basically, um, they there's a whole lot of stuff to do over there. Um, and I think I'd rather go this way first. So I'll head in here. I think there's someone to talk to. Yep. Ah, oh, no, not another hero. I lost my short on this so called hero's big fight against the monster up there. <laughs> Trust me, the smart money's on the monster. That way, you pretty much tapped me out. So, I got a proposal. Bring me 90 orbs to get me back on my feet and out of this barrel, and I'll give you a power cell in return. 
And if you're game, I do have one more bet online. My big comeback. Beat the record time race in Dead Man's Gorge in the Precursor Basin, and I'll get a pretty payoff. For that, I'll give you another power cell. Alright, so he wants us to do a race. Um, we'll just talk to this guy over here first. Pretty cool looking knight. Oh, my aching head. <laughs> I thought that's one of your vital organs. Walk it off, tough guy. Oh, sure, I was tough once. <laughs> Maybe even the toughest of them all. I single-handedly defended this village from those horrid creatures for almost a year. Then that horrible monster arrived and commenced the boulder bombardment. So, full of valor, armor shining in the sun, I climbed the hill to take him on. But he pounded me like one tenderizes a yakow steak. <laughs> Have you tried attacking him with your melodrama? Cause it's killing me! After my last stunning failure, he sealed the passageway to his roost with a 30-ton boulder, leaving no way for anyone to challenge him again. So, our sage, a master of blue eco, and a mechanical genius devised a machine capable of lifting the boulder out of the way. But alas, he disappeared before we had a chance to turn it on. And he took all of his power cells with him. At least I was able to pull enough pontoons out of our bridge to prevent that monster from coming down here to do me harm. Yeah, good, good job, tough guy. But uh, we're, we're gonna need you to uh, put him back and stuff. Oh sure, and seal my doom. <laughs> All right, fine. Bring me ninety precursor orbs, and I'll let the pontoons loose. But I'm not going to fight that monster again. So, 90, he wants 90 orbs, um, to make a bridge for us to get over there. So, now there's really a use for orbs, which is good, because we've really been collecting them. So, I think, um, finish off this episode with going over to this sort of area. Well, not this area where I am right now, but to this, uh, water area in a second. Just grab some health. Nice and grab a scout fly. Cool, six out of seven in this area. And we don't really want to fall in the water here because. Um, oh no, okay. I thought the shark would come and get us. But maybe it's uh, not really deep water here. Okay, lost precursor city. So I might just jump up here and click this button. Going down into the depths. See through the windows on the side, we're going down in the water to the lost precursor city, which we will explore next time on the Jack and Dexter playthrough. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully see you next time. See you later.